Buffalo baseball fans and welcome spring training action on MLB the show it's the Washington Nationals taking on the Minnesota Twins welcome back to MLB the show if you could please leave a like and a comment we'll be back with the first pitch right after this all right just about ready for baseball and yeah, starting this one off. Chris Paddock the George Brown. Well, a pretty standard four-pitch mix. You got the fastball, change speeds, two breaking balls. You know, all can be really effective if they're coming out of the same arm slot and really staying in that tunnel for a good bit. That's to third. Lewis. One up, one down. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error. It, hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can that see already good. is bat stays in the zone really on plane for an extended really period of time, and guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't Ooh, Randy, come on. This one's get there. Get He's there. Got a chance. And off the base of the wall. Headed for the plate. The relay throw. Safe. Oh, I could have had him. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just about got it out of here down yeah. the line to left. So I'm sure he wishes he could have put a little more behind it, but he's got to feel good about that missile off the wall. Man, it's second. Swing it a foul straight back. That's in there. Yeah, the count one and two. There we go. Let's finish him off. Swinging. Nice. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Fought off foul. Manessis on its second with two down. And a foul ball. If you could, please leave me a comment where you're watching, what country. That would be great. Thank you. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Fights it off, you'll see another. All right, let's go get him. Man on second, two down. Got him. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. One for the Nationals. Let's see how we can do hitting with the rain. It's an early one up. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the second Ooh, base. that looks tight. Here comes a pinch. And there's a foul ball. Castro, 26 years old. Their white outfit will Rico. not remain white here one. soon. On its way to the corner. On the move. Makes the grab right on the warning track. Ouch. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely oh, trying to hit the ball in the way air too early. the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Leaps at the yeah, ball. buddy. Round second, get yourself third. that triple. And he's got himself a triple. He was all over that one. Even though center fielders are amazing at tracking down balls these days, there's still a lot of room out there, and it's a big field. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Good and RBI. The first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. We needed it. Let's go, Byron. It's so important to really lock in on an at bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that run in. There's a Come on, Byron. Drive. That's back there. Yeah. Oh. Mm, 
that's sad. Only get one run, one hit, no errors, no one left. Paddock back to work. Luis Garcia in the box now. Oh, no balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 2. Clyde oh, Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Here's Lane Thomas. Uh -huh. This rainstorm's so good, I might fall asleep. Right through there for a strike. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. And it's fouled away. One out, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. And there's two down. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for oh. it. Ildemaro Vargas in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next offering is foul back. All right. It's time to get you out, buddy. Send your packet. Strike. Oh, I need to pay attention more. There's only strike two. Next offering popped in the air, right field. He's got it, and that one in. We bottom half of inning number two, and now for the Twins, Carlos Correa. Let's go, Carlos. The pitch. Swinging a foul straight back. At the belt and fires on the ground to the left, oh. and that's oh. just foul. And a pitch. That's a book. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And now the lefty out to short. Dang it. Jump throw across his body, yeah. and Correa retired. And now the first that baseman, Kyle Farmer. The first baseman, Kyle Farmer. On the ground. And that one finds its way through. So a man finds a gap. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes one those ball. can find okay. a hole and get you a knock. Max Kepler at the plate. Let's go, Max. Kicks and fires. Send it flying. That one ripped. That's back there. And that one is going to go. There we go, Max. He sends it out of here. Just like that, they move in front. It's three. Welcome to Boomtown. To take the lead, just hit one out of the park. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. One down, and next for Minnesota, Carlos Santana. Hammers that one deep left. Oh, field ho, 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 ho. Carlos said no, thank you. They go back to back, and they tack on to their lead. It's 4 1. Chris, he's homered in back to back games now. Yep, seeing the ball. Yeah, yeah. He's got his timing locked in. He's finally he's starting to wake up at the, the freaking right plate. Back-to-back -back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So one out, nobody on. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. That pitch in for a strike. Mm, I didn't like it. Foul ball. I didn't like that one either, but went for it. 
Still only one out here in the inning. That's oh. and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball oh. up the ladder for strike three. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. Second All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of Let's go, Willie. Really. Right oh. Castro stands in now and watches strike one. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. It oh, he nice jump. It. Make a great catch like that. It's all. Yeah, I can't complain and about that. Back to the and now the center fielder, Alex Call. As he turns on the rubber, you know, with that good live arm delivers. Out towards right center field. Kepler pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. The bat, Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses. Make him 0 for 2. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold off if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. Line drive, base hit down the line. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a double. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield. Clear base hit. Those always feel great. Man at second with one away. Stone Garrett digging in for the Nationals. Right through there for a strike. And it's one and one. Abrams, the runner at second with one away. And that one is in the dirt. Two and one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Let's take him out. Next offering misses down away. He should get a hoping he was gonna go for it here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Foul ball and it remains a full count. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Up the middle, Correa. Safe at first as oh. they can't make the play. That was my bad. I forgot he got a double. Doubled in his first AB. And then I forgot yep. to throw. Finds the zone. Two errors on my end. First and second with one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Only made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence, everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Yay! That's leave a pair, and they trail it 4 1. As we go to the last of the third, now the left fielder, Manuel Margot. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. Been a rough Ooh. start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. <coughs> Vargas moving Dang under it. it. And makes the grab. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Here's Royce Lewis. Come on now. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. Strike two. Another 0 2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Next offering is downstairs. It's a good take. Runs it up to 96. Oh my gosh, that was. Or a bowl. Come on, Byron. On Two out, space is empty. And now it's going to be Byron Buxton. That one fouled off. The pitch. 
Swings through that one out oh, front that uh -huh. time. The hitter early and off balance on that swing. Mm -hmm, if I'm the pitcher, mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. taking a little bit more off. See if you can get oh. him to chase something in the dirt. And yeah, that's outside. And yeah, the count one and two. Oh, and delivers man. outside. Two out spaces empty. Come on, Byron. Three two now. Three ball. He's great. Make him pitch to you, Byron. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Good. The batter number four. Here's Carlos Correa. Over one so far. All right, Carlos. That misses the zone. Mm -hmm. One and oh. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way. Nice. So yeah. The hitter can focus on the pitch. And a base hit right there. So that's two straight, two out hits. So up next for Minnesota, Kyle Farmer. Let's go, first baseman. That's the third. Vargas sends it across the first, and that will end the inning. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now up for Washington, Hebert Ruiz. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Ruiz, in his third season, 25 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. That one is absolutely beautiful. Mm. And it's off the wall. You oh, cut them on feel first. Good as a hitter right the there. Bat. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking. And these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Lewis makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now it's the DH, Lane Thomas. Struck out swinging his first time. One and out. In the dirt, blocked. And the runner holds. Figure might as well throw it. Huh. Next offering in there for a strike. One and one. That's strike one. Oh, and misses inside. inside. Oh, come on, buddy. Is the rain affecting you, buddy? And a foul ball. Ruiz leads off first with one away. All right. Ground ball right side. Mm. And that's a fair ball. Ruiz, round second on his way to third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Stepping in, swing and a ball lifted oh, in the air, shallow left field. Base hit, one run is in. Now two runs score, and they trail by one. Picks himself up a couple of movies. I tell you that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base Ooh. hit. And that catches the low inside corner. Good fastball. All right, let's end the simulation. <clears throat> Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. All right, he had a good smash in. last time. A very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Abrams in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. That oh, one close, ruled a ball. Ooh. And the count even one, one and one. Just a weak fly ball this time. Kepler pulls it in on the run. They get. And we're back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. 
and leading off the bottom of the four is Max, Max Kepler. 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 And he deals. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One strike. After scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Misses the zone, and he gets him to chance. Oh, come on, Bean Boy. Yeah, it was. Thank you for pointing it out. Ripped on a line. And foul oh. ball. And he'll two. Garcia. Tosses to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Up next for Minnesota. Carlos Santana. The next twin up to hit. He's already homered in this game. And uh... Let's go, Carlos. Right through there for a strike. Mm. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Come on, Carlos. And that one nope. is lifted in the air. Under it. Makes the catch for the out. Two outs, bases empty. Ryan Jeffers oh, yeah. digs in now. Jeffers. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. There's a line drive to left field. Tracks it down for the out. And... And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now the right fielder, Stone Garrett. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Oh, two. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Margot makes the grab one away. Next to hit for the Nats, Joey Manessis. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. Fly ball down the line. And that's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. Going two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 2. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Economical. Here's Eddie Rosario. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. in the air right center field he's there he's got it and that is that back now, now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound Patrick Corbin still pretty early in the ball game so this bullpen has some work to have the Willie best case scenario might be oh, oh Willie their lead it's 5-3 he only needed one swing to square it up not wasting any time in that at bat boog aggressive and it paid off welcome to the game first pitch out of the bullpen a tough one and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike and on the other side as a hitter it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly it's not what they were looking for when they turned to him but now he's got to find a way to reset here's Manuel Margot 
First pitch misses. One ball. Always exciting to see a leadoff home <laughs> Now he doesn't even want to get anywhere the near the strike zone. Up and you start to expect a big inning. That one down the line. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just Come on, let's get these jerseys like dirty. Right now at the plate, Royce Lewis. Uh. Best to center field. Paul makes the catch. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. And here is Byron Buxton. Let's go, Byron. Very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Slider misses outside. Run around at third, one gone. Hard grounder into the outfield. Nice. In comes the run from third to Adam. That's what we need, Byron. Well done. Drives in the run. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now Correa up to hit. One for two. Line drive. Mm. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't now, produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Man at first, and here's the first baseman, Kyle Farmer. Buxton on the run. Out to short. Abrams tosses the first. That's the third out, inning over. They put two on the board on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and a runner left. Five innings complete. It's the twin six and the Nationals three. Top six leading off, leading off Hebert Ruiz. Paddock back to work. And there's a foul ball. And the righty deals. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there and have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. The line of the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. And here it comes. Yep. Fights that one away. Still one and two. The punch out there. Picks up strikeout number seven. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And a foul ball. Base is empty, one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. And a liner around in the right center for a base hit. Now, so much a good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always uh -huh. thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. Thomas, batting with one down, takes a strike. Here's a swing and a drive mm. off field, and he knew it. Mm. That was a good hit. And they throw a pair on the board. It's six five. He's bringing the thunder in a rainstorm. How in the world did he manage to hit that pitch out? Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Vargas in the box again, takes a strike. In there at the knees. That is strike two. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. 
Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And a good eye there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pick. That's as close as it gets. Kicks and deals. Down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Swung on, belted. Buxton on the move, racing back. And brings it in at the wall. There we go, buddy. Definitely not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there. And got a little help from the wind, just not enough. And now here's the Nationals leadoff man, C.J. Abrams. Fouled off. He was late. Two outs. To third. Oh, and it hits the base. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And no shot to get him at first. There's two aboard. Stone Garrett getting ready to hit. One for three. And there's the strike. First and second. Two down. Swings, and this one's flared. And a base hit. Around third. The throw in. It's offline, and he scores. Oh. It's 6-6. Six, six. So that down, sucks. My pitcher's not ready. Joey Manessis. Fastball in for a strike. The one. That's my fault, but Inside corner he was knees, doing well. That's a strike. Good fastball. Two on, two outs. That's and ball. ball one. One and two. And it's thrown and horrible. And a run comes in to score. Oh, well, there you go. Gosh. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Hammer could be extra bases. One runs in. Coming home. They add on as the run scores all the way from first. And they're <laughs> up by three. Four hits in a row. And they're Can we have a repeat in. on this inning? Caleb Fieldbar gets the call from the pen. Number Important pitches. job for him to do right now with that runner on third is they try to add on to their lead. Just needs one out to get out of it. So this is a huge matchup in this game right here. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. Right through there for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. So mm -hmm. in the end, 10 come to the plate, 6 after a beating. Back now for the bottom of the 6, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Mitchell Parker. Now still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. to kick the pitch and One that's ball. in the dirt meanwhile activity in the bullpen Jake Irvin appears to be getting loose hers the lefty warming up as well oh. and he struck him out that ain't down. next is the DH not helping Carlos Santana. let's go Carlos 
Ripped to third and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Fair ball. Or, or not. I told them to go. Okay. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it Runner. up pretty nice. Rudder takes off. Lined, and that's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Back-to-back -back singles. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Let's go, Manuel. Interesting. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Hey. Oh. 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 And that ends the mm. inning. Back now top seven, and they'll go the pinch hitter to lead it off. Nick Senzel, and this is a big at bat in this ball game. And they're at the knees, and that's strike one. Theo Barr, the six foot lefty, he features a four seam fastball, a slur. This one's into the outfield, could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second, and he's got a pinch hit double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Swing and a miss as he was late. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. This one in the air. Castro should have this one. Puts it away for the out. That hanging, breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter, and nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. Out to short. Throws the first in time. All right. Alex Call digging in for the Nationals. That ball misses. One. Ball one. What a no. Ball and two. another ball. I love how this guy grinds okay. out at bats. I mean, he's down there at the bottom of the lineup in the nine hole, but he's worked himself right. in a really Ooh. good hitter's count, trying to pick up a two-out RBI. One straight. And a pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Runner yeah. at second, two down. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Battling here as he fouls it away. Hammers that one deep left field mm. and forget it. Mm. He Ouch. circles the bases and they add to the lead. It's 11 6. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Looks like a pinch hitter for the Nationals. Victor Robles. Right through there for a strike. And a curve is down and in. And a pitch. That one finds the zone. Now one and two. Now this is in the air down the line. And yeah, that drops foul. Two down, nobody on. That one lifted to left. Margot makes the play. And that'll do it. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run homer. Midway in inning number seven. And it's time to stretch. You're watching. Staying in the game on defense, Nick Senzel. He entered the game to pinch hit, and now man second base. Here's the left fielder, Manuel Margot. Let's go, Manuel. The pitch. Now playing short. Number 26. In the air, left field. No. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle oh. the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Lewis, the next to hit, takes outside. 
That's hard hit on the line. Two down. Oh, Two uh, come on, Byron. Buxton, the next twin up to hit. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Oh, Benny oh. really sells the changeup with that arm action. Two outs. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He made him pay for Good. that one, and they cut into the lead. It's 11 7. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. No, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair when you're out in front on a break. Yeah, that one looked like it was going foul. That it's going to hook foul, but not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Swings and blasts one deep I'm to on. left center. Forget it. Nice. Back to back. Another one. Back to back homers. It's 11-8. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. A new arm into the game, the righty, Yohan Adon. Now, two outs, nobody on. And now for the Twins, Kyle Farmer. First pitch, and he just misses. Two runs across in the inning. Come on now. Bottom of the seventh. Got it started a little oh too early. Oh, God, that was Strike horrible. Swings and misses. One and two. Oh my God. You see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row no, because can't. hitters just can't lay off of it. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and he chases Ouch. that one in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Back now is it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off. Carter Keeble. Carter. The pinch. He swings and fouls one off. Ball to the right side. Steps on You're first out. for the out. Now bat out. So he they're making a move off. for a battle. Number 15, Riley Adams. Off the bench, Riley Adams. Now one out, the base is empty for him. Griffin Jacks gets handed Four the rock there. out of the pen. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. No! Buxton <laughs> makes the grab, two down. <laughs> the left left so Dave Martinez going Ouch. with a pinch hitter here. Jake Alou looking for a two-out spark, but the base is empty. And that skips into dirt. Two down, nobody on, and we're in the top of the eighth. Gets the call, and the count one and one. Just off the inside edge. Oh, man. Next Ooh. offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two down. Nobody on. Left field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. 
So remaining in the game defensively, come on. We need the bats going. They're entering the game as a pinch hitter. Now batting Max Kepler. He's already homered here in this one. And a pinch. In the air to left center. Alou moving under this one. Brings it in. One down. Carlos Santana, the next win up to hit. Let's go, Carlos. On the ground, right side. Mm. And it goes just foul. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. On the ground. Man. And it's just foul. Right-handed reliever. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and two. Swing oh, and a miss. <laughs> oh, hit. Brian Jeffers. Oh. And the first pitch misses what for enough. ball one. Just oh. missed. Two and out. Good. That'll fire up the dugout, and they're chipping away. It's 11 9. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The Come on. Oh. Not me. get over anxious and come out of your swing. He oh my god, of course. Of Castro in the box now. No I won't ever strike. see that ever again. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. And his hot hitting continues. No, they kept him no in the yard that good. time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton. And Let's go, Manuel. We need you, buddy. Guy. Margo, now the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Come on. Swings over the top of that one. Doesn't help when that happens. One more out, they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Drifts towards Dang it. He makes the grab, and that's the third out. And we're back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Hebert Ruiz. The right-hander back to work. Oh, and ball. that one's a little bit low. Ball one. That's and there's a ball. ball. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Inside just missed. The three one. Strike on the inside <laughs> corner. Three balls. And here's a three two. In the air, left side. And it falls. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I'm amazed at him. His ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. Oh, so the tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Senzel, okay. the next to hit, takes ball one. Oh. Swing and a miss. Strike one. one. Ball. one oh, that's strike. that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Ruiz gets his lead at first with nobody out. Goes down looking. <laughs> now here is Lane Thomas. 
the designated hitter, Lane Thomas. That's through there for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 2. Well, he homered earlier in the game, but showing no fear on the mound so far in this at bat. He's just attacking the strike zone. And they'll do it again. Man at first, one away. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So. They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Swings hey. through that one for strike two. Go ball. Swings and misses. Struck him Go out. One hit, one left. Back now. Come on. Hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Hunter Harvey. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Here comes a pitch. Headed down the line. Long run. Can't get there. This one lands foul. In position, one up, one down. That sucks. Come Byron on. Buxton, the next twin up to him. We talk Byron. about guys with good We need your Byron. Definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Out front with the swing, and Come that on. is strike one. one. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off okay. the bat. Automatically, that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And that's the off the inside edge. One ball. And the count one and two. Bases empty, one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Ball Outside two. low, and it's two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Oh, he never Three, moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Fouled off again, and it remains three. Make him work for it. One down, base is empty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the right hander deals, and there's Thank ball four. It wasn't Good. easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Come on, Carlos. And that one He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tying run at the plate. Oh. The shortstop takes the ball. <laughs> Waves at the bender for the strikeout. That was a good pitch. No, I... Pitch hitter coming on, Alex Kirillov. And he would be the tying run, Boog, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. That one ripped right center field. Yes. And in one hops the wall. 
And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. The run scores all the way from first. It's 11 to 10. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. Yes. He stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Thaddeus Ward taking over on the mound. Number well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the team on. late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Man at second here with two away. And next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Okay. It's all right, Max. You didn't like it. You didn't like it. That's a bullet, oh. but it goes foul. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Mm -hmm. The Twins Obviously. down to their final strike. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The the I simply swung for that. The outer half is open. So the tying run at second. What a chase that time. I'm out now. Swings and misses at the break. Oh, the my God. No. And the strikeout ends it. Just All right. We tried. If you're still watching, thank you. Neither staff had anything working, and these offenses just kept exchanging blows. Close one here today, and your final 11-10. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Washington Nationals 11 runs, 16 hits, no errors. They left six runners on base. For the Twins, 10 runs.